What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guy, the Hoxton Trend. I want to get straight into this video. It's a fake versus real D squared t-shirt. Now, lots of my followers have been asking me to get a lot of D squared stuff in. To be honest with you, I used to rock D squared way back in the day. I'm talking way back, but mainly I used to go for more of the outerwear. So a lot more jackets and heavywear stuff. So first things first, let's get on with this fake versus real. I'm going to show you how to spot the difference between the real and the fake. Okay. So as usual, guys, what I'm going to do is let you ponder on which one you think is the genuine one and which one you think is the real one. Have a look, have a ponder, have a think. I'm going to give you five seconds to rummage around in your head and make a decision, okay? Okay, time's up, guys. The one that is the genuine one is actually this one. And the funny thing is, when I went and put this on my Instagram, a lot of people thought that this one was the fake one. It's crazy out here, man. Let's see exactly how we can spot the difference between the two, okay? Right, guys, let's have a butchers. Right, so this is the fake one that I'm opening up now, which is here. Even look and see that the print quality is not even that great. So I can still see some very faint black patches throughout the screen print, which says to me that it's not the best. It's not the best quality. So, you know, obviously these D squared t-shirts, they're really expensive, man. We're talking like 150, which I personally think is a lot of money for a t-shirt. but hey, that's just me. Some of the money I spend on jackets, some people will say that's ridiculous money. So it's all relative to the individual, I guess. So I'm not judging, I'm just saying. After feeling the quality of the genuine one, which is this one right here, it does feel a lot better. The screen print on the genuine one feels a lot better quality than on the fake. The quality of the actual t-shirt feels a lot more thick. The genuine one feels really soft and really, really light they've even gone as far as copying the tags it's actually quite scary because the label that i'm seeing on the fake is actually looking not half bad it's kind of scary just getting off what i've seen and i haven't seen d squared labels in a very long time the original seems to have a longer tag and the tag seems to be more of an off white color the um, fake one is just simply plain white we also have a size label on the garment labels as well so we've got extra large if you look at the fake one there is no size label okay now the fake one funny enough says made in italy the genuine one actually says made in romania so that's kind of interesting they've even put this random qr code which if you had an app and done the qr i'm sure it wouldn't do anything but yeah that's really mad man that's just looking at the labels if i didn't have that and i saw that 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 could really make someone think that it's genuine to be fair problem that i have with t-shirts is because there's just not too much to them at all that is very difficult to spot looking at the d squared labels here together the one on the left is the genuine one it says made in romania and the one on the right is the fake one and it says made in italy now that's not to say that some d squared t-shirts could be made in italy you know it's like stone island stone island make different products um, from different parts of the world. So it's not to say that all of them are made in one place. That's not gonna be a great way for us to tell. Um, if you look at the back and you can see it's the stitching, there's just more fabric and more fibers that are going through. So it's a thicker, a more detailed label. Whereas you look at the fake one, it's it's really clear. Now you would turn around and probably think that the clear one is actually the um, genuine one, but it's not. That's the fake one. If I look at the stitching that's gone through, we've got this, I think, I'm not a stitching expert, but I think they call it a lock stitch. It's where the stitch comes over the seam. It just makes it a nice, clean finish. Now, if I look at this one, I, I doubt they've got that. Damn, man, they have got that. Look, they've got the lock stitch in there as well. So that's really scary. Jeez, 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 jeez. Okay. I mean, on one on one way, D squared should be putting a little bit more detail and a little bit more effort into their t-shirts, which will make it harder for the counterfeits. Um, you know, but I, I feel like sometimes these designer brands, they actually don't want to do that because they they just want people to go directly to them um, to buy items. But it's just unfair because if you are a genuine seller and, you know, let's say you've grown out of one of these, you bought a size M and now you've become a size L and you've grown out of it and you want to sell it, it's going to be difficult for you to sell unless you keep your tags and keep your receipt. Because if you don't have that, then the problem is, is when you sell, people don't know if you're genuine, genuine or not because there's so many fakes now. So, I mean, what D Square should really do is just put a whole bunch of um, more labels in here, really. They should just put more labels. You know, why not put like a hollow 
Telegram or you know another label here with the, it just makes it harder for counterfeiters at the end of the day even if you do not want people to buy from marketplaces and you want them to come directly from you you have to acknowledge that there is a massive marketplace out there and people are going to use it and not only that marketplaces are good because it, it could be a good entry point for someone to get into a brand if someone can't afford D squared from the D squared website they might buy it for a marketplace and when they're in that position you know they change job or they leave uni and they get a job and they said you know what I remember when I used to buy D squared in the marketplace and it was so cool I'm gonna go and buy it from the store so really it just makes sense so that's the tags there guys okay the t-shirt is 185 pound which is a lot of money big money um so this is you know this is not going to be a clear way to tell but the d squared is a lot more neat it's a little bit more of a thinner text compared to this one this one is really bold and not only that but if i look at the fake one i can see it's a little bit patchy shouldn't be patchy on the tag if you run your finger over it it's raised a little bit guys okay you can actually feel the d squared if i run my finger through that nope can't feel anything it's flat um they've they've more or less got that very very close apart from it's really thin the writing here is a lot thinner than it is on this one i mean sorry guys i know this is not like you know the best the best but let's be real it is a t-shirt there's not much to a t-shirt so it's going to be quite difficult okay and the other thing could be to do is to check underneath the hair and make sure it's nice and clear and it doesn't have any you know it's a nice finish and there's no thread sticking out or anything like that but there is um, clearly a difference between the two they've even used two different types of stitching the stitching here is a little bit thicker a little bit thicker compared to this side so that's another way possibly that you could you could tell it just goes to show that really no 186 pound t-shirt i mean 186 pound for a t-shirt i don't know you know i see a lot of my followers they 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 got like the Givenchy and you know these big boy brand t-shirts and then i look at myself and i think i'm rocking something from primark or fred perry or because when it trust me when it comes to summertime i don't i do not care mate i just want to be cool my priority is to stay cool i don't want to be sweating and i definitely don't want to be sweating in no 180 pound t-shirt i will just try to not sweat <laughs> i don't want to ruin the t-shirt you know yeah that was a hard one man that was a hard one it definitely wasn't easy but there, you know there is a way to tell there is definitely a way to tell and i've just showed you some of those so guys i'm out of here hope you enjoyed it lots more coming peace out <laughs>